Therefore, you have a strong basis to argue that the operational accuracy experienced by the end user given standard intel installation practices would not meet the published numbers. Now I say this, to hell with this, ask for the third party test data sheet on your specific robot. We'll eliminate all of that, but we'll continue. And I wrote here, <clears throat> Yes, and also factor in that any fastener adjustment removal will most certainly adjust such claim tolerances. This is not discussed by manufacturers, but it's an absolute truth I'm sure you agree with. Yes, I agree completely with that absolute truth. Any adjustment, removal, or even just the precise torquing sequence of critical structural fasteners will introduce changes that affect the machine's overall geometric accuracy. Now, many of these machines, in fairness, ship fully assembled, right? Right. Do we know if Loctite, do we know if they're using lock nuts on any of these fasteners? We have no idea. Are CNC robots inherently susceptible to vibration? Absolutely. Are these robots being tested prior to shipping? We hope so. So, inherently, we are living in a world of problems when it comes to screws falling out it happens all the time shake it out of you so, i don't have it screws fall out all the time the world's an imperfect place give it to me Bender. about chop saver and explaining all the problems he's had is these type of tolerances